We use a system called a volcano alert level that was designed as kind of something that's used more or less worldwide. But we have four stages. They're called normal, advisory, watch, and warning. Okay, right now we're in an advisory. So, you know, you're advised to be uh, paying attention, right? And uh, this advisory status, it also goes along with an aircraft aviation set of colors. So normal would be green, advisory is yellow, watch is orange, and uh, warning is red. And we know here that everybody in this room is going to forget those words but generally knows if the volcano is red, it must not be good, right? And if the volcano is orange, it's not quite as bad as red, but there's something going on. And if it's yellow, something maybe is happening. So what we have done is we make sure um, that we keep those words and the colors together. So normal and green will always stay together. We'll never decouple them. We'll never decouple yellow from advisory or orange from watch or red from warning, okay? So when we do this kind of, um, of put out a warning, like the next step would be we're right now in yellow advisory because we've got this, this it, you know, heightened unrest is what we're calling it. Uh, basically, we know that there's magma coming into Mauna Loa. We know it's causing earthquakes and deformation. And so what I want to tell you, though, is what the limits of we what we can actually do with these warnings and what we can tell you, okay? Because uh, a couple weeks ago, there was some stuff that's passed around, and in every eruption, there's stuff that's passed around about, oh, the USGS said there's going to be an eruption, and a couple of weeks ago, they got really specific. They said there's going to be an eruption, it's going to go down the southwest rift zone, and it's going to cut the road between Pahala and Nalaita. So there, <laughs> that was really specific. And... I would love to be able to tell you that two weeks in advance, exactly how that's going to happen. And so would all of us at the observatory, but we can't with the technology that we have. What we can do is tell you when we think, as Frank said, all these eruptions start with a summit eruption. So the first forecast that will go orange will be we're expecting an imminent summit eruption, right? It may or may not come, but we'll be seeing a lot of signals and things will really crank up compared to where we are now if we go to orange. We're saying that a summit eruption is imminent. The next thing that will happen is a summit eruption starts, so we'll issue a warning there. As soon as we see which way the lava, if it's going down a rift zone, we'll issue another warning that it's going down the southwest rift zone or the northeast rift zone, right? Um, and then finally, when there's an eruption on the, and the, the vents kind of settle down on the rift zones, lava starts coming down the hillside, there'll be a lava flow, we'll issue another warning of where lava is likely to intersect people, right? So we can't do it all at once. It's going to come in a series of things. So the first one is just going to be a forecaster, you know, saying that a summit eruption is imminent, right? So if we do that, and you know, Mauna Loa, the other thing that makes it dangerous is it does not give us much more warning. Kilauea is generally much kinder to us than Mauna Loa is, but generally Mauna Loa gives us one, two, three hours, you know, before the eruption starts, and oftentimes it'll move down the rift zones in an equal amount of time. It can move very, very rapidly, as Frank was showing down there. So. So I just want to make sure that you guys understand when you see things that come out, you can tell if it's real or not by, you know, we are not going to forecast anything more initially than a summit eruption. Ken talked about the alert system. So the county's actions based upon the alert system, normal, when uh, things are green, we call it blue sky, we kind of go about getting preparations ready, public education, making sure the counties all all together with uh, any anything we need to respond. But you know that's what we're doing during blue sky periods. Periods of advisory like we're in right now, we're doing exactly what uh, plans call for. We we engage with HVO weekly, not daily. Um, we monitor their sites, their instruments as well as the public end, because all their data is on their website. Um, 
So we monitor that. We start organizing with the county departments, our partners, discussion, you know, as far as readiness. And then, you know, we start to get to put together our plans and outreach to the community. As soon as we are notified that things are changing, we ramp up, we activate our operations, and, you know, go into our modes for response. We recognize that Mauna Loa covers 51% of Hawaii Island. So all those districts that are encompassed within that area, we work with the different departments um, that will get involved.